Let's generate an attack. In order for you to generate an attack, you will have to go to the manage attack profile, click there, and you will click attack area. Next, you'll be taken to this screen where you'll see all your previously generated letters located. If you do not see any letters or anything located here, that means you have not done anything in the system yet. It's fine. Go ahead and go to your attack area every 30 to 35 days. Next, you will select your client. You will select the credit report. And if you're utilizing my free score now, you're going to select the Epic Pro report. For the work to execute, you're going to select your attack type that you have access to. And next, you're going to select the attack number, which is based off of the month that you're in to attack or generate your attack letters. Next, you'll be taken to this red, green, and blue box screen. And if you did not come to this screen, please go to your dashboard and turn your PWA off. But it's very self-explanatory with this area. Red means you do not want to attack these categories. For example, you have inquiries on your credit report, but you do not want to attack them. Simply click in red. If you do not have these uh, categories listed on your credit report, you do not have to worry about checking in red as the software will only generate letters based off of the information that has been collected from the report. Green means you want to attack these categories separately, meaning a separate set of letters will be generated for a collection account only. This will generate more letters, but this is a more effective process. Blue means you want to attack everything altogether. Nothing's going to be separated. Next, you will select here in this box to get your calculation for this area. You do not count each check blue box, but you do count each check green box. Each check green box is three. So we can go ahead and select nine for this area here. And everything else for these boxes needs to be selected at default allowing the software to generate based off of the information that has been collected and click next. Now the software is analyzing the report and there's nothing else that you need to change or select here in this top area. Now going forward, if you do or would like to use our third party printing and mailing servicers, which is a separate cost outside of your subscription, you can click here. As you can see, there are three options already pre-selected. The options that you do want to select is Brent Bradford or Batty Team. Go ahead and select Batty Team. And upon you selecting Batty Team, you will complete all the required information that's listed here or that's needed here and click continue. Next, you want to also include three, all three bureaus, which is the most effective compliant page based approach. To ensure that the report was uploaded successfully, you see this arrow here at the bottom right. If you hover over it, you will see numbers and they are color coded. If you simply hover over the numbers, they will tell you exactly what the colors and numbers stand for in representation to the accounts that are listed on your report. Once that process is done, we want to make sure that you understand that you do not change anything here in these three boxes, as if you do, you will turn your AI off. Next, in this area or this box here, if you want a letter to be sent to the data furnisher or creditor, which is the account holder or creditor of your negative account, you'll ensure that this is selected for data furnisher use. Next, we want to also ensure that the documents that you did upload into the software are in fact a image. You'll click your arrow there, scroll to the last account that's reporting on this list here, scroll your screen up, and this information down here where it says current images is an indication that the documents that you did upload in the software, in fact, are a image. Keep in mind that the documents must be an image. They cannot be uploaded as a PDF. Also, if there happens to be an account that you do not want to attack, say for number 21, we don't want to attack this account. Simply scroll the screen up and you see remove this content box. You'll click there, and as you can see, number number 21 is no longer there to be attacked. Now we can scroll to the top of the screen, click Generate Letters. You'll get this notification letting you know that you did or did not select a PAMS provider. And if you want to proceed, now understand, prior to you generating letters, please ensure that the information that you did import into the Manage Attack area is, in fact, correct information because once those letters are generated, there is no way to make any changes to those letters. 
Go ahead and click confirm and proceed and your letters will be ready to generate.